I know it's Friday. Well, it will be up on Friday. It's actually Thursday right now. And sorry. <laughs> so this week's episode got a little complicated. Basically, a quick little explanation is my Wi-Fi at my house was down. And then life got in the way a little bit. And now I'm here Thursday filming it. But I know I won't have time to edit it tonight. So when you see this, it will be Friday. So, what, to wear Wednesday, Friday edition? I still promised you that it would be up, so I actually scratched the footage from Wednesday. It wasn't good, and I didn't like it, and I was editing it, and when I see, and when I'm edited, I just, I don't want to throw up crap for you guys. So I refilmed it today. Now I am filming the talking part, and it should be up right now while you're watching it, but Friday, so welcome to What to Wear Wednesday. Friday edition. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Melissa and What to Wear Wednesday is a segment on my channel where I post every single Wednesday <laughs> or Friday. On my channel answering your fashion dilemmas. So whether it's how to style, what to wear, how to wear this, where to wear this, a pattern that you want me to style, anything like that, leave it in the comments below and you will be maybe mentioned, maybe mentioned <laughs> in the next week or in an upcoming week and I will answer your question or your dilemma for you. Don't forget to subscribe down below it's free click that little red subscribe button also follow my Instagram is threads obsessed add me on snapchat it is Melissa Taddy and while you're at it follow me on Depop a lot of the stuff that I style today will be on my Depop or just a lot of nice cute things are listed up on my Depop and I will be listing a ton more this weekend so so definitely follow me on there. It's Melissa8, but yeah, let's just get right into the video. Of course, my camera's gonna die. Okay, starting off with question number one. Aya Bubbles, Aya Bubbles, how would you style a fanny pack? So, I actually have this gorgeous jumper from Zara. They may still have it, and I know that their Zara sale is going on, so I'm not sure. I actually picked it up in store. I had a gray one and a black one, and funny story, I was actually shopping. And I picked up both, and I was gonna get both because they were really inexpensive. They were $29. I was gonna get both, and I was like, no, Melissa, just, just get one. Like, you're, you're getting greedy. And as soon as I put, and they were like hiding, and as soon as I put them back where they were, they were behind a bunch of coats. Like, you couldn't even see them. Literally, three girls attacked it. And then I was like, maybe I will. And I turn around, like, they're all gone. None of the smalls are left, and I'm just like... But regardless, I got this beautiful gray jumper, and this is the outfit that I wore to my pop-up shop. So if you saw me there, you guys would recognize this outfit. I just kind of tweaked it a little bit, so it was just a little bit different. But I basically threw on a red t-shirt, or red graphic t-shirt underneath. You can put any color underneath, any color of your choice. And I actually wore a fanny pack while I was working, or doing my pop-up shop, so I thought this was the perfect outfit for you guys. It is so cute, I'm so into it, and yeah, this fanny pack is actually my boyfriend's dad so shout out to him for the fanny pack and then I just paired a pair of Air Force runners you can pair any runners that you would like but this is how I styled a fanny pack I thought it was really cute and chic and I don't know it made a fanny pack not look like a fanny pack okay moving on to question number two Andrea Sher Sherer sorry asked okay so how to wear an edgy cool outfit on a date with a boy who doesn't wear edgy clothes without looking too overboard or out there more of a casual date outfit by the way there's no such thing as casual in this girl's vocabulary no. but honestly if you feel like you have to change the way you look for him don't do so wear what you want but I still thought this was a great question in case that's not what you meant by this question that you just need a little bit of help for outfits so I actually liked this question though a lot because I thought it was a really good idea and I feel like just anybody who is is more edgy and has like an event that is more dressy or girly or an uh, like a casual event and in a super edgy outfit obviously outfit is still black because we're not getting completely away from your edginess but the top is so flowy and beautiful and it has the this gorgeous flower pattern and I actually got this at forever 21 about a year ago now when I was in New York and I love it it is so gorgeous and it just ties up in the front and you could wear it without the bralette but I thought the bralette gave it a little bit it was a little more safe so and it gave a little nice touch to it as well and then I paired my gingham shorts with it which you guys know I'm loving this gingham trend right now and the gingham shorts with the floral pattern just looked so bomb together gingham isn't so girly especially if you style it in this way I really liked the statement pieces in this outfit and then I just paired a basic pair of black hoodies and I put a newsboy cap on which I am obsessed with and somebody else 
asked a question I think about how to style newsboys caps so you can also take that but I love the newsboy caps I don't know I feel like it's edgy especially the black one it's like edgy yet it's very like girly all in one and then I paired a pink bag just to kind of you know throw that extra little girliness into it and you got to pair some rings and some necklaces and chokers which kind of brings back that edginess but yet it's jewelry so it's girly so yeah that's basically how I styled this look okay moving on to the third question Abby Campbell asked how to rock a thrifted outfit without looking like you thrifted it. So maybe I should just let the outfit, should I just like play a clip of the outfit right now? Like put some bomb music behind it? Because this outfit is killer and it's all thrifted. I actually have this leather set. I think is gorgeous. I thrifted it. It's beautiful. It's up on my Depop. It's killing me to give it away, but I know I don't really have anywhere to wear it right now. So I know somebody else that may have a better occasion to wear it would definitely rock it. So if you're interested, definitely go check it out on my Depop but with this yellow underneath it just popped and I'm obsessed with this look right now or just I had the beautiful checkerboard earrings which I had also thrifted the glasses are actually thrifted I found them the I found them the other day so they will definitely be up on my Depop they look exactly like the ones I got from forever 21 I had thrifted these shoes the other day also and they're originally from Aldo but they remind me of I forget the brand but it's um, more of a luxury brand and these are originally from Aldo but I think I got them for like five bucks so like crazy and yeah I don't know I'm loving this outfit it is all thrifted like the quality of the clothes that you can find at a thrift store is way is like so much better like I can't even get that across like yes thrifting yes okay moving on to the final question Johanna asked how to style polo shirts as you can see I'm wearing the one I'm about to style because honestly this thing is bomb and I actually Pick this up to put on my Depop but then when I styled it I was like yo like this is actually so cute so obviously started with the polo shirt and I tied it at the back and like put it and I like wrapped it up so I didn't have to cut the shirt in case I do decide to sell it and somebody doesn't want to wear it crop but honestly crop it I'm thinking about keeping it and cutting it myself it may be up on my Depop if, if you watch this definitely go check out my Depop to see if it's up there and then I paired these gorgeous red shorts with it which tied in the color and yellow and red you guys know I feel like I either put yellow or red in every single one of these outfits except for one but yeah I love the way this turned out it's definitely a casual look an everyday casual look that I would wear I'd wear this to the mall I'd wear this out with friends on a hot sunny day so yeah this is definitely a killer outfit and then I just paired some Adidas with it and a leather backpack. Oh, and a hat, a yellow hat because pulled the yellow, pulled the red, and you just, I just love this outfit. Well, that sums up What to Wear Wednesday, episode number 14. I'm so sorry it's late again, but I promise I will make it up to you with a bunch of videos going up this weekend and a giveaway. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.